Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm MachoBot3000. I used to work for Ryan Reynolds. In hopes to make him a better actor, it didn't work though, so now I'm here with the worst name ever since, Macho Burger. You are here today to watch a mediocre performance from Macho Burger Productions. Hopefully they are funnier in 2018 than they were in 2015. Doubtful though. The writing is still lazier than the Green Lantern writing staff. Nonetheless, let's start the show. Here is your host Dylan, low-budget Jack Black, Nail. Thank you, Macho Bot 3000, for that wonderful introduction. Um, we're so grateful to get uh, Macho Bot. Like, it was, it was a steal, literally. Um, with that, I'm Dylan Nail. Uh, I'm here, obviously, because album review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Blue Album, uh, by Weezer. This album came out in 1994. Uh, this is actually probably one of the better albums of that year. And, uh, also, thank you to the people on Facebook who correctly, uh, guessed what album we were going to review. And I have those four, those four gentlemen right here. Uh, shout outs to Anthony Mendez, Nicholas Grozier, uh, Brian Ballou and Tim Andrada. Sorry if I pronounced any of your names wrong. Um, and with that, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, commenting and and guessing with us. Uh, with that, let's start the review. Song number one. My name is Jonas. Uh, this is personally one of my favorite uh, Weezer songs. Uh, to me, this song tells the story of two brothers coming to terms with uh, growing up. And moving on with life and all of that. Uh, to me, this song um, always gives me chills. Uh, right when the beginning of the plate comes around without acoustic guitar, then it just hits with all the uh, with the drums, the bass, and the electric guitar. All those hit at once. Every time, let's do it. Chills. Um, I love how the song starts off and ends with the acoustic guitar. And uh, this is such an amazing way. To start off an album, uh, song song rating uh, five out of five stars. Song number two, no one else. Uh, this song is pretty well uh, written uh, by Rivers. Uh, to me, he's telling, in my opinion, uh, it feels like he's telling the story about when you come to terms with uh, with the significant other that they're not nearly as perfect as you thought uh, later on, like many years down. Um, and it's all, I feel like he's writing about people who have those uh, picky standards when it comes to certain relationships. Um, but uh, the, the rest of the song is uh, really well put together, uh, especially with the instruments. Uh, I really like the, uh, the, the drums in this song. I also really enjoyed the chorus of this one. So for me, song rating is going to be four out of five. Stars. Song number three, The World Has Turned and Left Me Here. Uh, to me, I really enjoy uh, the drum beat in the song. Super, super catchy to me. Uh, the lyrics kind of gives off that uh, that vibe whenever you feel, whenever you're going through a, a tough breakup. That's how I feel that like the song was written. Uh, it has like a, one of those dark slash sad meanings to it, but hidden very, very well with a uh, very happy sounding beat, which is which is classic Weezer. Uh, if you know anything about Weezer, you know their lyrics tend to be a little sadder and they have like a super happy sounding beat. Um, and that's personally why I love Weezer. Um, to me, the song has a really strong finish and I love the fade out to the acoustic guitar. So with that, uh, song grading for me is 4.5 stars out of 5. Song number 4, Buddy Holly. Um, <clears throat> I do enjoy this song, but this might be an unpopular opinion. It's just, an, I just personally just don't like, I'm not a huge fan of this song. Um, don't get me wrong, it's like a super catchy song. Uh, I feel like it's just one of those real cheesy uh, love songs, but in a pretty nerdy way. Um, it's, still, it's still a good song to, to, uh, you know, to play every now and then. I mean, hell, it's still playing on the radio today. Uh, it's 2018. Um, you know, still fun, 
to sing along to with a group of friends, but in all in all honesty, it's just not one of my favorite Weezer songs. And with that, song uh, rating is going to be three stars out of five. Song number five, uh, Undone, The Sweater Song. Mm. Uh, this song is a very unique song. Uh, I, I really dig the uh, the talking dialogue, and, and right right before the two verses, really, I really, I, th- I think it works really well with this song. And the lyric, uh, the the, the, song, the both verses have really short, relatively uh, short lyrics, which works phenomenally for this one. Um, I love the repeated choruses. And I love the uh, the fade near the end when all the instruments fade out. And it goes into that really eerie, creepy style piano. Always gives me goosebumps. Um, so with that song rating, five out of five stars. Song number six, Surf Wax America. I've never really been a huge fan of this song. Uh, it does have some pretty good lyrics though. Uh, honestly, the song feels like it's longer than the three minutes it is. Uh, I just, I do like the change, the rhythm change, uh, near the end, but honestly, the song just really doesn't do much for me, even though it does have a pretty strong finish. The, the finish is what, 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 what kind of boosts the song up for me a little bit. So with that, song rating is 3.5 out of 5 stars. Song number 7, uh, Say It Ain't So. This is another one of my favorite Weezer songs. Uh, this song has a, has a pretty dark uh, meaning to it behind the lyrics. Uh, this song is, is, I actually looked it up, uh, this song is about uh, River uh, finding a uh, can of beer in his fridge. And uh, he was really scared that his stepfather was uh, leaving uh, because his mother left his father because of alcoholism. And I really like the 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 darkness and uh, about this song, and uh, uh, I love that it's also hidden hidden kind of well behind the uh, the happy sounding beat. Uh, also, really like the bass and the bass guitar in this song, and I also really enjoy the guitar solo in this song. Uh, so with that song rating, uh, five out of five stars. Song number eight. In the garage. To me, the song has a feel of childhood innocence. Uh, the chorus is very catchy to me. Uh, also has a super good lyrics and a really, really amazing beat. Uh, also, I really enjoy the heaviness of the guitar in the cor- especially around the chorus in the song. Uh, the song is actually pretty good, and I uh, really, I really love the guitar solo. Uh, so with that song rating. Four out of five stars. Song number nine, Holiday. I uh, personally wasn't a huge fan of this song. Uh, the song does have some pretty decent lyrics. Um, the, the instrumentation of the song is pretty well put together. Uh, the thing that really bugs me about the song, and it's also why I, I'm not a huge fan of it, in the chorus, the way they sing Heartbeat, I absolutely f- I don't know what it is about that. It just something about how the way they sing that just it gets under my skin. So with that song rating, three out of five stars. Song number ten, only in dreams. Holy fuck circles. Uh, this song is absolutely amazing. I definitely love that bass line. Uh, that bass, the bass guitar is so beautiful and fluffy. It's like a countryside, it's like the countryside sunrise, fuck the feather duster. It is just amazing. It's like, I can't even describe how amazing it is. This song is about eight minutes long with a four minute band jam session. Uh, and I love that amazingly beautiful bass line that was pretty much sent by God himself. Uh, now that's how you close close an album. Song rating, 5 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, I really enjoyed this album, cover to cover. Uh, the album came out in 1994. And I honestly still think it holds up with today's music. Even even though it's been, it's been out for about 24 years now. 
Um, uh, honestly, on most rock radio stations, you still got Say It Ain't So being played, Buddy Holly still being played, and Undone, the sweater song. Mm. Still being played as well. And uh, Weezer uh, is, is a very good uh, band to see live, as well as to hear them recorded. Um, and they're, they're still putting out music today. Uh, they've they've changed their sound a little bit, uh, but not by much. Uh, and I honestly still think they're putting out good music. Uh, and with that, album rating is five out of five stars. Hell yeah! Oh shit! Um, sorry. Uh, thank you for for thank you everyone for watching. Uh. Please make sure to follow us on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, please subscribe here on YouTube. And please actually hit the notification button to be notified when we re when, uh, whenever we upload new content. Um, everyone, uh, we every now and then we will do, we'll post some of the stuff we're doing on our Facebook page as we did uh, this this time to see if we see if you guys could guess which album we were gonna review, and earlier in the video we did the shout out to the four people who won. Um, so please follow us on on our social media accounts. That way you, you can always stay in the loop. Uh, once again, thank you guys for supporting us. Uh, I know it's been a while since we were gone, and we're we're coming back, obviously. Um, so thank you guys for coming back and watching us. Uh, I we, uh, we all of us at Macho Burger definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, we love our fans. And if you have an album you want to see us review, drop it down there in the comments. Your boy, someone from Macho Burger will respond. Um, and with that, thanks for watching again. Uh, from all of us here at Macho, Bur Macho Burger Productions. Stay macho. Bad idea. Um.